Hey folks, now some of you may already know I'm here in the US of A on a family visit. I'm in the east coast of America in Pennsylvania in a picturesque town called Scranton. Now normally my daughter and my grandson yeah, normally take the mick at me because I normally pronounce it wrong. Anyway, I'm on granddad babysitting duties because my grand my my daughter that's my granddaughter in the background you hear in there. Um, Hold on. Hold on, you okay? Okay, yeah. alright. And um, my daughter, she's gone to Los Angeles for her birthday. So here, here I am, here, here I am in America. Anyway, um, what I want to talk about today is, is I want to talk about, um, how can I, how can I, how can I word it? I want to, I would, I want to, I want to word it. Right, I want to talk about the impression that we in the UK have of white America bait via the media. Now, the media would have us believe that, you know, a white America has massive issues regarding race, especially black people. That's what the media would have us believe. Now, I'm sure there is truth. I'm sure there's truth in, in the reports. And I do appreciate the fact as, uh, Okay. 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 All right. I do appreciate the fact that America is a huge country. Huge. For example, you could fit the whole of the UK eleven times in the state of Alaska. Um, I think nine times you could fit it in the state of Texas, and there's fifty-two states. So you get an idea of how big this place is. So I would imagine, you know, you can't compare one place to another. So you've, every, different plates are going to be quite different. So, I want to tell you about something that happened yesterday, which is in contrast of the reports of what you get in the UK about America. Now, um, as I've told you right before, I'm on the granddad uh, babysitting duties. My daughter's gone, I, I think if I mentioned it already, she's gone to Los Angeles for her birthday. So, I'm here with the grandkid, grandkids. And I needed to get some stuff for my grandson. Now, Scranton is a town, but you can't compare it to New York or London. London, like New York, transport to a penny. You know, you don't have to wait very long to get around. You know, you, you've got America, you've got the subway system in London, we've got the tube. Buses comes every figuring two minutes. All day long, all night long, seven days a week. Complete different. Whereas here in Scranton, you really do need a car to get so where we are now. You, we're quite, we're a good mile and a half away from where the shops are. So you, you're quite remote. You do need a car to get around. And a lot of places in America is like that. Once you're outside of metropolitan cities. Anyway, so as I said, I need to get some stuff from my grandson. So I'm on the way down to the shops with my granddaughter in a stroller or as we say buggy and um it was raining and um as i passed i passed a, a picture's house guy a white guy came out on the porch and he looked at me he waved hello and this one thing is my second visit to scranton and every time i'm i've been here you know the when people okay we'll spray the tree in we'll spray the tree in a minute okay and people always say hello to me this is something that doesn't happen in new york and this something certainly don't happen in london so you get these white folks they see me they say they greet me hello okay bearing in mind remember the impression that we get in the uk of white america is supposed to have issues with, with with black people right anyway so um i'm walking down the road and um a white guy stops and he said, hey, you going to downtown with, you, with that baby in the rain? I said, well, yeah. I said, um, I'm not from around this, so I don't have a car. And he said, well, hop in, hop in, you know, it's, it's too far to go with the baby, you, you, you'll get, ah, 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 ah. you'll get soaked. So he said, well, you know, which shop are you going to? I said, well, I'm just going down the road to get a few bits. He goes, you, how, you, you're going to be long? I said, no, I'm not going to be that. He goes, I'll, I'll wait for you and bring you back up the hill. So this kind man called Bruce, he, gave us a lift or as I say in America, gave us a ride down the hill, waited for us outside the shop. I got my little bits and pieces, gave us a ride back to our apartment. So he's asked me, you know, um, am I okay? If, 
if in terms of emergencies, how would I cope if the child's, my grand's daughter's sick? And I said, well, you know, we're surrounded by some good neighbors and everything. Anyway, despite that, he still gave me his number. He said, well, look, I'm just a mile down the road. If you're getting in any sort of trouble, just give me a call, you know, um, until your daughter comes back, you know, I'm your, I'm your backup man. Okay, fair enough. Thank you very much. And it was very kind of him. Now, <laughs> this kind of goes against the grain of the impression that the, the media has given me of white America and some of the things I see on YouTube in terms of what black people um, say about white America. Now, please don't misunderstand me. I know America is a big place and I know I am a visitor. I don't live here. But you've got to bear, bear in mind, the white folks who say hello to me here in Scranton, they do not know I'm a visitor until I open my mouth. So as far as they're concerned, I'm just a, a black guy walking down the road and they're still nice to me. So I'm just saying, what is the truth? What is the truth with um, America? Is it just a simply a case of, are you, you got to be in the right place or you got to be in the wrong place? Does it simply just depend on where you are is it as bad as the media makes it out to be? You know, what, what's the real truth? Now, obviously, if you live in the South, in Mississippi, your, your, your experience is going to be completely different to probably someone who lives up here in Scranton and Pennsylvania. But I, I would like to get some feedback on this, you see what I mean? Because the white people here has been very, very friendly friendlier than the white folks back in in london so to speak i mean strangers saying hello to me as i'm walking down the road past the houses and stuff like that um so give me some perspective i'm a visitor so obviously you educate me you tell educate me on this because um, my impression from here the white people are very nice which goes against the grain of you know um the cop shooting uh, unarmed black men and so forth. I know that happens. I'm not taking anything away from that. Please don't. I'm not taking any gravity away from that. All right? I'm not saying it's not as bad. I'm not making no claim to that at all. Please do not misunderstand me. It is bad. I'm, I believe it is bad. You know, and I believe what um, black folks say about their experience. In I'm, not, I'm not so arrogant to tell people about their experience i'm willing i want to hear about your experience your impression and how it coincides with my experience that's that's all this video is about so educate me put me in the picture and um yeah just just set the record straight if you can if you can okay thank you thank you very much right um i <laughs> my granddaughter uh, she's <laughs> looking at me she wants granddad's attention so i gotta go okay folks thank you thank you very much okay bye